Recently, Israel issued 2,500 work permits for Gaza residents. 250,000 people applied for a work permit, 100 times more than what we've issued. Now, when you look at what goes on there, people have nothing to eat, literally. They want to come and work here. On the one hand, you're saying, obviously, I don't want to open my borders. Tomorrow, anyone might get some crazy idea and become a terrorist. On the other hand, people are hungry. Children are hungry. And I told myself, maybe we can think outside the box and allow anyone who wants to come here and make a living to come. Maybe this will change their attitude toward us and reduce the hate. What do you think? No. They're getting anti-Israeli education there. I can't treat them favorably if they're thinking about how to kill me. So, how do we end it, once and for all, to the measure to which you will nurture here inside the country connection, love, consideration among the Jews, it will push all the foreign forces out. Jews are a nation that's like a kind of glue between all nations, and if they connect amongst them and behave in a way where they really want to be together, then this way they will bring the world to tranquility. This is our function in the human system that we're supposed to be the glue all throughout history. Sorry for asking, but is it like a kind of curse that's haunting us? It could be a curse. It could be a blessing. How could it be a blessing? If you do it properly, take two Jews who have three opinions. No Jew can ever get along with another Jew. And precisely because of that, if you invert it, then you get a big blessing for everyone, for all of us and for the entire world.